We're bringing up our last artist tonight, and we're gonna let her talk a little bit about who she is, and then she's gonna do a little thing for you. Hello, everybody. I am Jessie White. I am signed to Red Zone, so that's Radio Killer Records, which is with Tricky Zone. Thank you. Which is with Tricky Stewart and Dream. They were responsible for Umbrella and a couple of Grammys that they're nominated for. And the song that I'm gonna sing tonight is called Undefeated. It's a song that I wrote about triumph, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Katrina here, here with Jesse White, a supporter of the Democratic Party. Great, great. I'm glad to see you here tonight. And you performed. What did you perform tonight? I performed a song I wrote called Undefeated. Wow. It's a tale of triumph. Yeah. You know. Okay, so is it dropped already? I mean, when can we get these CDs? You know what? My CD is supposed to come out in the summer, so I'm still in the process of working on my CD with Tricky and Red Zone, um, Radio Killers Records, so that should be coming out really, really soon. And The Dream, he's actually writing probably my first single, so that should be great. Now, I know you probably just signed a label, right? Yes. Okay, and who are you with? With Red Zone Entertainment. Okay. And with Tricky Stewart, they're nominated for about, I think, like six Grammys. They did um, Umbrella for Rihanna, and they did Just Fine for Mary J. Blige. And it's like, um, they did Mariah Carey's new single that's about to come out, um, Touch My Body. So listen for that. Hot stuff. That's hot. That's yeah. hot. Absolutely. Okay, so we know why you're here tonight. Obviously, you support the Democratic Party. Yes. So who is your favorite candidate? 
I want to say. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> I love them both, but I'm probably more so in favor of Obama right now. Okay. And so. why do you, does Obama have your support tonight? It's just like the way that he's moving. And I know a lot of people are kind of kind of don't feel like an African American should be president, but I think that it's just an amazing thing. I think that he knows what he's doing. I think that he's going to run the country smoothly. He's going to organize some things, get some things back in order, and I'm, you know, I really think that he will be able to do that. Wonderful. What would you say the, the, your favorite characteristic about Obama is? Man, I like that he's family oriented. Like, I like seeing his whole family up there. I like seeing that he knows how to speak well. I like that he's a, a nice representation of African Americans. Right, right. So, like, and I love that. Wonderful, wonderful. So any things about Hillary that you might like as well? Do you like you want to You know, you know, I or? I loved the Clinton administration. So like I don't have a problem with Hillary at all, but if I had to choose between the two because it's going to be one of them hopefully. But I just, you know, I leaned a little bit more towards Obama even though I love Hillary and I love her genuineness and like things that I feel from her, but I'm leaning more towards Obama right now. Okay, wonderful. I just want to come, uh, ask you a couple of questions mm -hmm. first, some personal questions if you don't mind. First of all, how did you get into the music industry? I have been doing music since professionally since I was probably about 16 years old, but I've been working on it probably since I was like four. Okay. But professionally 16. Wonderful. So is this your passion, your life goal, your dream? And Absolutely. So like it's something that you wake up doing in the morning. It's something that you go to sleep doing. It's something that I can't get rid of even when I want to. So that's it's just... I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. I know this is where God is going to have me to be. I feel like I'm here to touch other people and to inspire and uplift other people. And so I hope that my music does that. Where touches do you somebody. see yourself one year from now? Oh, girl, I'm going to be winning Grammys. <laughs> I'm going to be touring. You know, hope, I'm writing a book right now, so oh, hopefully the book the will be book? out. It's called So You Want to Be a Star, oh. and it's about my journey. It's for young women and, you know, basically guiding them on how to deviate in, in the industry without going down the bad roads that they can get caught up in um, and just sharing my entire life story so that I went through. Wonderful. If you could give one piece of advice to people who are going to vote in elections for the first time, fresh, just turned 18, what would it be? I would say if you're going to vote, don't vote off of popularity, but really pay attention and, and see what it's about and then vote. But don't just vote off popularity because everybody's vote makes a difference. It makes a huge difference and people might not think that their vote counts or it matters because it's just one person, but you'll see those polls and they'll say 451 and it'll be like 452. Like, it makes a difference. Okay. Not like it sounds corny, but it makes a big difference. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you much so much. This is Katrina Hill with the National Democratic Party signing off. Thank you.